So I'll show you how I prep my breakfast burritos. One head set for one so I kind of just dodged the core and like cut the sides off. I don't think that's right, but it's the way I do it. So whatever. And I throw the core and the top and the bottom away. My knife is really dull. I need a new knife. I don't want to hear it, okay? I'm just going to toss it right into a pan because they're all going to mix together and make a happy family. On to the onion. I'm going to start crying. You should cut your onions kind of kind of minced almost. I do one whole onion. You can do half an onion if you want. Uh, it's, a, it's like a whole small onion though, you know what I'm saying? If you have a big onion, use like half of it. I'm on my cutting onion grind. I'm not crying yet. See, I can feel it though. But you can meal prep this in a way. If you can make multiple of them. They're burritos, right? So you can make like a ton. This will give you a ton of to work with. You can make like I want to say six to ten, and you can wrap them in saran wrap. I've not put them on the stove yet, and put it in the fridge or the freezer. And then whenever you're ready, you can pull it out, unwrap it in the saran wrap, put a little oil in a pan, and then toast it on both sides, and you're good to go. So I'm gonna make all these, and so that all I have to do the next day, take a little bit of it, throw it in a pan, warm it up, and then wrap my burrito, toast it. You'll see. You'll see. Toss them all in. On the stove, add some oil. I use avocado. I don't think it really matters. I just prefer avocado. Uh, just enough. We're gonna saute and cook them down. So just enough for that. Medium to high. Never really cook on high. One onion and two peppers. That much. Like it's insane. No, technically one onion, one orange pepper, one red pepper, but. Red bell pepper, orange bell pepper, white onion, scrambled eggs, spinach, and cheese, uh, and a flour tortilla. I'm also going to show you how I prep my smoothies. This is my little smoothie bag in my freezer. I need to make a couple more. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. This is my coconut milk jar. And this is how I prep my smoothies. And again, this will make like 10 to 15 bags. And it is so easy and it's so good. I accidentally bought light coconut milk. I don't even know what that means, but you know, whatever. So three bananas, I'll make six smoothies bag. Um, coconut milk. If it's hard, you just have to put it over some heat. And you put your half banana in it. I'd say do half of the pineapple. You toss in however much spinach you want. And then you ziplock it. And you toss it in the freezer. And now you have a little baggie of smoothie prep. I already have one in here. So this is the one I had freezing. And this is how you make it. You take the bag out. And you just kind of put it in your thing. Mine's a little silly. You add coconut milk. Bang! And then I'm going to throw that in my blender in a minute. You're really just gonna put them aside. Time to work on our scrambled eggs. I'm gonna use two eggs because I wanna make two burritos. I have a little mini whisk. You can use a fork, but I have a little mini whisk. The tiniest amount of spray. You don't really need any. Just a little bit. I'm um, also hot enough, so I'm gonna pour my eggs in. This is how I cook my eggs. I don't think it really matters how you cook your eggs. Wait for the bottom layer to just kind of cook a little bit before you move it. Later. Just a little movement. It's still one giant piece of egg, you know, just a little bit of movement. And now the egg's basically cooking. Is now when I do my salt and pepper moment. I use pink Himalayan salt. It's my preference. Now I'm gonna be a little bit aggressive with it. And there's my scrambled eggs. They're amazing. I'm gonna take my little bowl and I'm gonna sit my eggs aside. My little eggy eggs. I killed it on the egg. Yes! Or do we have to talk about? All right, now for the fun part. Here's what I'm so happy to work. Cheese, do I have? I have triple cheddar right now. I just start with my spinach. I lay my little foundation of spinach. Yes, raw spinach. They're gonna cook in the burrito. Trust me. I'm gonna take half the egg. And I'm gonna toss it on top of my spinach. And then I'm going to take my little concoction of peppers and onions and generously line that up. I'm putting my pan back on like medium heat and a little bit of cheese. There's my little burrito. Mmm, so good! You toast up the tortilla a little bit, and then you double wrap it. Ah, it's so good. All right, good enough. I have my little burritos now. I'm gonna put them on the heat. And they should take a couple minutes to crisp them up. I'm gonna start cleaning up. I mean, come on. But Allie, what are we doing? 
do? We have so much extra stuff. You get a Gatlin plastic container, and you have, guess what? Golden goodness to make more burritos. So I'll use this tomorrow for breakfast, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. The next day, and the next day, and the next day. And I won't have to do all that annoying chopping. Come on, dude. And again, this is only salt, pepper, and the eggs. Like, it's so good. Dude, it's so good. I'm literally scarfing it down. 